My name is Steve Smith. This is the QA Weekly. If ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at qaweekly.com or drop them down below if you're already on YouTube. And if you want to help me out with this show, by the way, big announcement, you can now do so per month, not per episode, by the no well, contributing a dollar or more per month to my Patreon, which is located at patreon.com slash TQA weekly. And for those who contribute a dollar or more, you will get future episodes 24 to 48 hours before every single other person subscribe gets it. So if you want to get these episodes early, want to help me out, make this show better, go to patreon.com slash TQA weekly and help me out with this show. Now, this week's topic is about protecting your data with BitLocker in Windows 10. It's also available in Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and 8.1. I would like to point out that before you follow anything and any instruction in my episode, please make a backup of all of your files before. Before we go anywhere else, there's going to be a lot of people wondering, why would you encrypt files? I got nothing to hide. Probably somebody out there saying I have the right to have a gun, but they don't care about the personal files because they don't think their personal files are very useful. Well, here's the thing, people. A lot of mobile devices have a lot of sensitive files, and I'm going to prove to you very quickly just how dangerous your personal files can be against you. So first of all, for those who don't believe it, if you have a laptop or a tablet that has a Microsoft Vista or greater, you have this software already built in. A lot of your files probably contain things like Excel spreadsheets of your budgets, how much money you have. You probably have a lot of projects or assignments or even contracts in there. So a lot of people could figure out who you work for and what kinds of stuff you do. Some of it might be sensitive and some of it might be useful for industrial espionage. And then again, there's a lot of pictures that we have about family, which could be used by people that might want to target us and our family specifically. So if you don't want to be the target of any government or malicious group or any person attempting to either blackmail, kidnap, or do some kind of weird harm against you, encryption of your files is something that you should definitely do. Without a further ado, just please make sure you already did your backup. I'm going to switch screen and show you just how simple the process of encrypting and using BitLocker is. You are going to spin in your chair when you see it, just how simple it is. This is not true crypt complicated. This is point, click, and a few keys simple. All of us know how to get to our computer. You go to under the folder called this BC. And if you already have a drive that you want encrypted, whether it be a, uh, the entire hard drive of a laptop or a tablet, a portable hard drive that you bring around you, or a USB key that you keep in your keychain or in your pocket, just make sure it's in here and you will select the drive that you're interested in. Then you will right click it and select turn on BitLocker. Please do not unplug any of the drives or any of the devices while you're doing this. I don't care how good your battery is on your laptop or tablet, you will not have the time to encrypt everything if you have a lot of files. So, by the way, for those who don't know the majority of democratic laws, here's something you should know. You can use a smart card to unlock this if you have this technology. A smart card pin will be required. I do still, however, prefer the password to unlock the drive. This being the fact that while most of the time a judge or a warrant can compel you to give the keys to your house or to a lock, you cannot be compelled to testify against yourself, which means you can't be compelled to give passwords or code. Just make sure it is a very strong password that is not password. So once you enter your password, which I hope is not password monkey or whatever, then you can click on next. Then you'll be presented with save to your Microsoft account, which will actually save to your OneDrive, save to a file, or print the recovery key. And then we've got next. Then you'll be given two options. Both of these options can take a lot of time depending on how many files and the size of the drive. This is why I say do not unplug your devices under any circumstance, tablet, laptop, anything. Because if you unplug the device unexpectedly, it may destroy the files entirely. That's how encryption works. So don't ever unplug it. So if you want to just encrypt the data on the drive or the use data on the drive, they use disk space, 
Then you can select the first one. If you want to encrypt the entire thing, which takes a really long time, by the way, then you can use the other one. For the example, I'm going to use the first one. I definitely suggest the second one, but it will take a lot longer to do. Then you click next. And then it will give you this question. Are you ready to encrypt this drive? You'll be able to unlock the drive using a password. Encryption will take a while depending on the size of the drive, which I just told you. Until encrypted is, encryption is complete, your files will not be protected. That's a fact. Just click start encrypting. And then it will give you this question. Are you ready to encrypt this drive? You'll be able to unlock the drive using a password. Encryption will take a while depending on the size of the drive, which I just told you. Until encrypted is, encryption is complete, your files will not be protected. That's a fact. Just click start encrypting. And then once it starts encrypting, you must click pause if you want to unplug the drive. Once the drive is fully encrypted, the icon, which you already see up here, will actually come in one of two states. This is the unlock state. So now that it is completely encrypted, you could, by the way, go into manage and then actually select a whole bunch of stuff here. So back up your recovery key, add a smart card, turn on auto unlock. Do not do that, by the way. And you can also turn off BitLock if you ever wanted to turn off encryption. Now, here's the thing. If you, by the way, this is the correct way of removing a drive from your computer. So eject it. Ta-da. And then put it back in. So if you put it into a computer, once it's encrypted, it will give you this icon. This is the icon that pisses off all law enforcement and every other person who wants to commit fraud or steal your documents or even target you. Because that means they actually have to figure out what your password was or have your card or, and your pin. So to unlock this drive, all you do is double click on it and then enter your password. Once your password is actually in, it will have decrypted the hard drive. That is all you need to do. Right click, click on the, hold on, on the turn on bit locker, follow the instructions, and then whenever the window starts, it will ask you for the password. And that's it. So, I hope you learned something from this. I hope you understand just how valuable your privacy is and how badly it can turn out if you don't protect your privacy. I. Hope that you like this episode, so if you do like it or dislike it, leave your comment question or topic suggestion down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day and 